of MySchool MyPride. In this series, we are aiming to showcase young talents and outstanding students who have achieved something beyond their study to pursue their passion and broad pride to their schools with the expert guidance from their teachers. So today we are having with Master Kariharan and Ms. Deepa from GK Vidya Mantra, Chennai, along with their mentor, Mr. Vijay, who is the math facilitator at GT Groups of Institutions. GT Vidya Mantra is one of the part of GT Groups of Institutions. GT Vidya Mantra aims their students' development and also encourage their co-curricular, extracurricular activities to reach uh, them in the highest potential. So let's have a look at GT Vidya Mantra video. GTA Vidya Mandir, known as GTA VM, is a K-12 CBSE school situated in Nilangare, Chennai. It was started in the year 2010 by Sangvi Kantilal Chunilal Doshi as a flagship of GT Group of Institutions. The core values of GT Group of Institutions revolve around student centricity, technology and tradition, life skill development, happiness quotient, inspired facilitators and sophisticated infrastructure. A holistic approach is used to develop intellectual, emotional, social, physical, artistic and creative potentials among students. The only constant in this ever-changing world is change itself. Being in the field of education, we prepare students to face this constant change. At GTA Vidya Mandir, we strive to make children learners for life. We do this not by telling children what to learn, but teaching them how to learn. GTA Vidya Mandir aims at creating lifelong learners. To help students achieve their highest potential, the school offers a balanced blend of curricular, co-curricular and extracurricular activities. Academic performance is integrated with arts and sports. The school provides a setting for self-exploration and the student-centric approaches help acquire transferable skills. The lesson plans are aptly designed to encourage problem-solving and critical thinking skills. The structured learning design focuses on collaboration and cooperation rather than competition. The school provides regular opportunities to students, both inside and outside the classroom, for group work and development of social skills. Discussions, debates, clubs, scouts and guides, RSP, Red Cross, hands-on science experiments, sports activities, projects, exhibitions, robotics, internships, community service and service learning projects are included as salient activities. The teachers are inspired and empowered through periodical hands-on training and workshops conducted in-house. The teachers as facilitators also participate in capacity building programs conducted by CBSE from time to time. GTAVM has facilities and infrastructure to build healthy and happy children with enhanced cognitive, social and emotional development. The kindergarten play area has EPDM flooring for kids to play safely for hours together. The classrooms at GTAVM create a dynamic and positive environment that engages and motivates the students to learn. The digital classrooms are equipped with high-speed internet to enhance the learning experience. Presentation methods such as computer-based projection and digital videos are also employed. The campus houses two computer labs with updated hardware and software. GTAVM has a well-equipped library that provides resources and services in different media formats to suit the needs of teachers and students. This makes information easily accessible in a calm and disciplined atmosphere. At GTAVM, robotics is used as a launching pad for STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics. The integrated robotic curriculum even includes the use of a 3D printer. Extracurricular activities are part of regular school hours. Professional trainers are appointed to help students explore interests in cricket, table tennis, archery, theatre, debate, vocal and instrumental music, dance, karate, roller skating 
and calligraphy. The school supports environmentally conscious decisions to combat issues such as global warming and greenhouse gas emissions. The installed solar powered panels reduces the dependency on fossil fuels. To ensure a healthy and hygienic environment, the school provides safe drinking water via RO plant, prohibits single-use plastics, encourages reusable water bottles, ensures periodically cleaned washrooms, and provides incinerators for sanitary napkins. Apart from a qualified nursing assistant, the school also has a full-time counsellor for emotional and psychological support. The school canteen is 100% vegetarian. The school maintains seamless communication with parents about their students' attendance, day-to-day -day activities, academic progress, scheduled parent-teacher meetings, and PTA. The advanced management software used helps parents track the school bus via GPS and get the real-time location of their children. The campus and school buses are CCTV enabled. We guide students to discover their identity, understand the meaning and purpose in life through connection to the community, to the natural world and to the humanitarian values such as compassion and peace. The vision of GT Group of Institutions is to develop all-rounded, confident and responsible individuals who aspire to achieve their full potential. The mission is to provide a welcoming, safe and supportive learning environment in which everyone is equal and all achievements are celebrated. All initiatives at GT Avidya Mantar aim at creating a happy society through happy teachers, happy learners and happy parents. So on March 5th, 2020, GTA Vidya Mandir has set a record of maximum students drawing international flags together on virtual platform. A total of 334 students participated in this record. So the students created the international flags on paper using mathematical instruments in an average of 1 minute and 10 seconds on Zoom platform. The two main pillars behind the success are Ms. Deepa and Master Hariharan. They took initiative of training students and coordinated the uh, to make this uh, attempt successful. So they also involved in designing IBR sheets and collected various data re regarding this record. And also they have compiled and compiled various videos regarding this event. So I welcome and Mr. Vijay to this episode. Before getting into the session, we have uh, let's have a glimpse of Gems of India.
So, as a mentor, Vijay sir, the first question is to you. From where did you this get this idea to create this unique uh, record? Yes, um, happy morning to all of you present here. Uh, myself, uh, Vijay B, a math facilitator and the class teacher, proud class teacher of 9th C of GTA VM. Um, I got this idea in my class when I was constructing, a, I mean, teaching uh, constructions. And what was about their set squares were not used. So first of all, my students were telling, sir, what is the use of the set squares? Thereby, I was explaining about the perpendicular bisectors and uh, how to make perpendicular bisectors without uh, with a set square, uh, and then how to make parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So th that time uh, we had a uh, discussion, and our flag was also uh, made up of parallel and perpendicular lines. So uh, on that day, we, it was a, a lunch. Lunch we were discussing about uh, there was an activity of constructing our Indian national flag. But uh, fully with the stem and with the color and everything, with the ground and everything. And then why we thought of why we can't make this uh, because assembling the flag through human was possible. But uh, why can't we consider using Max? Was the spirit I got from my uh, class students? And then uh, I uh, we took that as an uh, ignition and we moved on, ma'am. And now okay, we. Thank so uh, my next question is to one of our stars, uh, Deepa. So uh, Deepa, as a student, uh, of course, you played an important role in executing and coordinating this a big, big record. So what was your, like, could you please share your experience with our participants? Yes, ma'am. So, well, to be frank, it was a lot of fun. All of us attempting to and like failing miserably at first to construct the flag. And then all of us teasing each other and all of us finally getting the hang of it. It was all a very, very wholesome experience. But I think training the younger students was the most fun part. All of us would go to different classes, teach them what we knew, and then we'd help them out, answer their questions. And it was all a very, very wholesome experience. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. Okay. So the same question is to uh, Master Harihar. Could you please share your experience? Yeah. A wonderful morning to one of our present here, ma'am. So the Indian uh, national flags event was such a huge success. Uh, it was because of the management helping us and the teachers training us at the right moment. And because of that only, we were able to train the juniors at first. So like as Deepa said, the uh, thing of constructing flags and failing, those were playing the major parts. And Getting into controversies and talking it out with our peers were the major event which was taking place every single day because making people understand about the event was very, very hard. Making them know that this event was worth to even uh, put your effort was like very hard because people were like, this is just the Indian flag. What are we going to do by constructing it? But then eventually, as we made them understand about the event much in a higher rate with the help of our mentor also, we were able to convince them and yeah, we were able to train them, mom. As Deepa rightly said, the most fun part was training uh, the younger children, mom. I love training sixth graders, mom. They were like very active, they were energetic and they came up to me every single time and they were like, Anna, when are you going to come to our class and teach us to draw the flag? So as they were like very active, uh, making them sit in their places were a bit different for me uh, as I'm a student and they wouldn't consider me as a mentor in the beginning. So like playing games with them and making them sit in their places and take out their AFOs and helping them draw was very, very useful. And Deep and I usually go together for eighth grade. Well. So this was the major memories we had from the event. Uh, so from uh, both of your words, I can understand that the students were completely active in this big event and they were really interested to make such a record. So, um, and both uh, apart from that, the nervous and uh, the hard work behind this coordination execution is very really big, I know. So, uh, what was the result and uh, if, there, if there was anything take away from this experience, uh, what would be? Mom, I think um, all of us would uh, take away memories from this event. 
and as we said before training the students was a lot of fun because most of them were our age and we were not really training we were actually like playing with them playing games and like trying to teach them trying to like be responsible but in the end we just ended up having a lot of fun and in making the documentaries was also a lot of fun for all of us we learned so many things and um, all of us the first time all of us tried constructing the flag was very very memorable because none of us could do it at uh, in within the time limit none of us could construct the flag and then the first time someone in our class constructed the flag we were like acting like i don't know they were the hero like they saved the world or something and um, they were like the star of the day for the rest of the day and it was a lot of fun so i think i take away memories from um, this event and the whole process and there were also a lot of learning outcomes but to me i value memories the most thank you so hariharan could you please explain a little about this uh so the major takeaway from this international flag event i would say is learning patience mom um, because training the students and working in the documentaries were our major parts mom um. so like we were three different teams in working in three different documentaries and deepa and i were the common ones mom um. we used to sit in meetings which were like 3 4 hours long and nicely do nothing mom um, basically do nothing for the background musics we spent at least two days finding them and for compiling them my god it was the hardest part of all but eventually mom we understood the coordinating with other people and communicating the right way was the best thing i would say with memories will be the part of learning to communicate way better because we all were the uh, students studying from a very young age though we know each other very well making them understand via an online platform is very very difficult then the training sessions during online was like a, a pretty fun one because people were uh, looking a bit funny in their costumes at home and i like that one and annoying our uh, class teacher was the best part if you can ask me making him uh, driving him nuts was the best thing i used to do with my friends but eventually uh, learning to do the flag sir was a very great inspiration for us he was the first one who took the step to record a video of him constructing the flag and we all were like sir we'll defeat you come on let's see it and there was this guy known as saran from our class class 9c he constructed the indian national flag in 40 seconds he challenged sir and the 40 seconds uh, construction came out in the third day of the event announcement so we were all with the fire uh, so saran played a major role in also training students and also he was an inspiration for juniors you know? they all wanted to come up like him and eventually people were able uh, to construct flags in a more pa- faster pace you know? so this is yeah. what would be my major takeaway from both of your words i can understand that you guys uh, went for a long process and the coordinated uh, it, it's not an easy thing it's not an easy thing i can understand that so as a mentor uh, vijay sir uh, the next question is to you everything needs support right sir uh, for coordinating an event uh, whatever big or whatever small event there must be a support is needed right sir so as a teacher from the teacher side as well as the students side what all supports uh, you or you guys get from this for this event sir so uh, first of all i would like to thank my management to give an opportunity to be a part of this great event and uh, for first response is from my children and uh, their training and uh, initially i uh, i got uh, i got to know about uh, how the children will perform because i uh, should cross the limit about 200 children have to perform in an online record they don't need a setting of a record or else attempt i will be given and uh, no challenging was there but everyone was incredibly supportive the amount of positive response from both the teachers our students my fellow mates was overwhelming to be honest it was more than that what they were ever expected and definitely more than what they could they have rightly done at that moment so as you rightly said everything does need support to be carried out and we were blessed with the surplus of it and my principal sir vice principal ma'am my aides all were supportive and with all their cooperation this event is a great achievement for us ma'am okay thank you sir so harigan and deepa so uh, i think this event uh, not only help you to learn academically so there were some soft skills you already developed from this event so what uh, what what would you say was the overall learning experience um 
we'll actually more than just learn like academically learning we also learned a lot of soft skills so we learned coordination and as hari said patience and we learned teamwork we learned um how to like like how to be responsible we learned responsibility we learned how to approach problems and how to teach other people we um actually it wasn't just me and hari it was a lot like all the teachers all the students everyone gave us tremendous support did everything they could and i feel like uh, this helped us bond a little bit more and um, like all of us the students would all sit together and like come up with new different ideas more fun ideas to teach the younger students and it was a lot of fun and so more than just uh, academically learning which was also in surplus we did learn a lot of soft skills that are definitely going to help us in the future Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you'll ask me, the basic of teamwork and coordination was the main thing I learned. But eventually, I got to know better of my own geometry box. So like, what is the set square? What is the pro circle used for? I I am a basic artist and I am good at mandala. So I use pro circle, but I did not know the proper usage of it until sir told me. I was just like, it's a three sixty degrees, uh, protractor and it's like. only used for that but eventually mom making people's dream come true was the biggest thing we ever did like most of our uh, students mom they weren't much of outspoken we were all like introverts and the schooling of 9th grade was also very low like we went to school for only about 2 months or so and within that span mom we actually wanted to make a huge impact uh, to our school's name in a very good manner and that is exactly what this event has given to, uh, to us mom then uh, talking about this we got to know our classmates very well so uh, there were new students who came to our class and we were like talking with them going to other sections learn uh, speaking with the students understanding their mentalities and teaching them as per it then going to teachers asking permissions was the biggest part and the toughest one so like going and training students in middle of class that's not an easy task and coping up with our studies at the same time it was also pretty tough but it was also a fun thing so that was our classmate uh, his name is nitesh so he is also known as our sir's pet because they both uh, usually get into uh, very silly fights so he uh, was like sir i wouldn't use any of my a4 sheets because a4 sheets are too costly for me to buy so that whole event sir was the one who uh, sir and the whole class was the one who provided him a4 sheets so like it is in a good manner that he wanted to make the class to go you know in a vibing manner and he kept the vibes up mom we also had negativities coming in and but we uh, basically are with one more term mom we take in negativity we use that as our fuel to empower us and we go to great heights and we never constipate life mom so that is the reason which was a success for this event I so guess, and of this was a soft skill there were some negativity in uh, coordinating or come up with any idea there should be a negativity so you you guys overcome that too and uh, achieve this record that's a, yeah that's appreciable so my next question that um, as a student first this uh, idea come up like first this idea introduced to both of you what was the thought in your both of your mind uh so i basically felt that is sir going nuts has he lost something or why is he even doing this to us it was like practical torture to me in the first moment because constructing an international flag under a minute seemed like uh, the himalaya speak to us so without proper training we wouldn't have been able to do it but eventually our group like we were a 9 to 10 member group and that group was firstly trained by sir and we were the ones who personally went to other students and trained them while training them uh, we totally understood about sir's mentality so and the way how he worked to get these ideas so staying with them for long we were also tuned to his sort of thinking so we thought like him and we also proceeded the same way whereas using the things we have already learned previously we also tried to package the uh, way we told things very differently say that you have a boring thing and you take it out in a different manner we thought out of the box and we uh, told it to children where they liked it mom so and people uh, like just like us they were also like this is an event and how are we supposed to do it 
so making them feel the ease was vijay sir's duty and he aced it mom so like i personally thank him for this so uh, deepa do you have anything to share your idea relating to this session <laughs> yes ma actually the thing is the first time this idea was introduced to all of us all of us were very clueless we were like what is this what are we supposed to do how are we supposed to do it and um, at the first like time this happened again i think this was in lunch break this idea was introduced and uh, all of us were like eating and i was i remember i was eating curd rice as i always do and then sir suddenly sprang up this idea on all of us and all of us were like what but then uh, slowly we did learn how to construct the flag and um, yeah and then after that we practiced we practiced so many times and when we could finally construct the flag we had to like get sketches we first started practicing with pencils and then after that we slowly brought in sketches and colors and how to make it like aesthetic and pretty and um, yeah after that we went to other sections actually it wasn't us who taught the students first all the other math teachers they taught them in the classes themselves and then after that we went for training sessions and then we like timed them and like made sure that they would finish the flag within a minute and uh, at first it was all a very daunting task for all of us but then as time went on it became really fun and we enjoyed the process and then when it finally like got over we were kind of sad because and nostalgic to be honest because we had so much fun throughout the days even though at the first we all were like scared to be honest but then after that it all eased out panned out beautifully so i'm very thankful for that okay uh, vijay sir uh, from your students words so if i can uh, uh, understand that you were stubborn on this unique idea i want to prove this idea to the public and you want to do this uh, thing like in a proper way so sir so how did the parent and public react towards this report my god I, that uh, there were some opposition or i'm sure that in every event i can uh, like uh, we can uh, show that there's there are some opposition or there are some support so how did the parents and public react towards this yes actually uh, when we uh, as a, uh, from our school uh, principal said we have to send a message to the parent declaring that they are going to make a record and we need to bring all the stationery pro circle uh, i don't have pro circle i need to buy and on, on all the uh, parents were asking us questions and uh, we tried to manage and bulk orders also we placed and uh, uh, finally the parents were convinced and they were also happy and cooperative in many aspects and they helped us in any way what they could and they were extremely grateful for that and they have sent the students for uh, more training sessions online um, and offer online rehearsals and got them the materials and finally uh, as without the parent support it would have not done and we uh, we had a very firm ground from them and uh, as well as children both parents and children cooperated and the setting of the camera and arrangement of the mission everything the timing out and many pages they were constructed every saturday sunday they constructed uh, 50 to 40 times in a day and uh, i think uh, the students uh, perseverance and determination and uh, it at as proved actually so the public uh, when the public or parents uh, many uh, professionals uh, told me that they shared their views uh, it was a fantastic uh, attempt and to making to get the children interest in uh, subject as well as you brought math into real life and uh, that without their support it would not happen and i have to thank all my parents Uh, especially parents of sixth standard because they have come from fifth to sixth the transformation stage and the sixth standard children perform very well than other graders uh, and comparatively with their strong uh, uh, focus on the construction okay sir so deepa um, and harikaran like uh, how exactly was the flag constructed so what were the materials you used uh, and how did you use them and accomplish that record Could you please explain a little more to us? We are eager I'm to sure. know that. <laughs> Mom, so first, uh, the materials we used were two set squares. Um, after that, we used a pro circle, and then we used sketch pens. I think we used uh, orange, green, brown, and then we wanted to use blue sketch pens, but then they were a little too thick when we did the Ashoka Chakra, so we started using blue pens instead, and. Um, we used the uh, we didn't use rulers at all we just used the set squares as rulers 
and uh, that was pretty much all the instruments we used and so so the way we constructed the flag was like very simple uh, because the flag was in the ratio 3 is to 2 and uh, between each section of the flag between each of the colors there was a 2 cm gap so we had to place two set squares like this and then we used them and then brought one down like this at 2 cm and then another down like this here and then we drew lines like this ma'am so that we could form the flag and then after that uh, for the sides we used brown sketches and then we closed the flag and then we took the pro circle and using one of the circle we put them in the center of the flag for the ashoka chakra and then we drew the 24 spokes and that was pretty much it okay so this is like an virtual platform right so how did you manage to uh, like do this event uh, like virtually because uh, there were some network issues happening like right technically problems were there so how did you manage all this it was pretty difficult mom but still uh, we came up uh, with the problems and with an experienced tech team mom we sorted it out very quickly because our school has been conducting our own culturals in an online platform for the past two years and we've got uh, students joining from uh, different parts of the globe also and like first thing i would like to thank the tech team mom they were like pretty much uh, well set up and they were uh, you know mom they were cautious of all the things uh, which are happening around the event and next of all the math department mom they rocked and they were like continuously uh, training the departments you know like the other students and they also taught a few other teachers uh, to teach their own students during lunch and snacks breaks mom so like they were hard working and all but uh, during the main event mom we did uh, have some net lags mom and students were also starting to hyperventilate and they were like Oh my God! I'm starting to sweat. Will I be able to draw the flag? And my hands were literally shivering. And every single uh, uh, human will have that nervousness, and that was present in every single uh, person in the meeting, mom. But still, we faced some net lags, mom. And eventually, the tech team, as I said, mom, they sorted out very quickly, and we didn't uh, notice even that there was a net lag, and things like that were very uh, smooth, mom. It was like completely smoothly handled, and I would say that. uh the math department proved that maths was the queen of all subjects and it rocks again and again okay uh, hari hari okay sir vijay sir uh, actually the record was published in uh, indian books of record magazine what were your thoughts like what you felt at that time yes uh, it was all very surreal when we first decided to make this attempt this record I didn't expect about uh, what it will blow as it is, but it was published in IBS magazine, the uh, two E magazine, and the consolidation of all the views of parents and the teachers was really amazing. And a correction from the English department, and um, and now I am so uh, what to say? I was really ecstatic, and now it all played out. It lay, went like a one day dream, and uh, it has got all our efforts. And uh, I was very happy to. Uh, Add uh, that, and to hold this badge also uh, need some uh, um, uh, what what to say? What deserving uh, we were all are deserving about a ten uh, ten of ten of members of uh, IBR team give you badges from uh, India Book of Records, and the final medal comes to a school. And uh, on that day, we were uh, March seventh. Uh, it was it was a fantastic and memorable day in our life, and uh, that. A record was uh, published in the newspaper, Rajasthan Patrika paper, and the Hindi font. All the Hindi department teachers also were uh, involved in it, and they transformed it, and everything were corrected, and uh, no one corner was checked. And uh, finally, we uh, we sent for the final proof, and it all happened about with the teamwork and coordination. Now. of course i can understand that you were in a cloud nine when you received that yes okay. of course so hari han and deepa what is the fastest time in uh, which the flags was constructed so the timing is important right so what was the fastest time um so like uh, as i told earlier mom uh, saran sr of class 9c was able to construct the flag in 40 seconds and he was followed by uh, the uh, a girl named kriti satish from the same section mom uh, she constructed the flag in 43 seconds to be precise mom so this was all happening a bit unofficially but then we also timed it 
and thankfully we as we timed it we were able to see how fast people were able to construct it yeah. but uh, the, we also told them to reduce their speeds a bit because uh, for a more precise and a neater flag we needed to work on the presentation more so like meaning 40 seconds uh, it was a bit of an offset but it was uh, the best flag they have ever constructed now you oh, you guys are expected a good outcome right yeah. So, uh, in what all supports you get from your school, uh, then uh, from your parents, can you share that? Hariharan and both Deepa and Hariharan, this question is for both of you. Yes, ma'am. Actually, the thing is, the school was extremely supportive. The teachers were very, very sweet. All of us would just randomly barge into their classes and ask them for permission to teach the students during their class. And they were all extremely sweet. None of them ever denied us permission. And they were all very supportive. And they had like give us hints and like tips on how to teach better. And uh, most of the teachers who were teaching for the students we were training were also our teachers. So we knew them, the students knew them. And it was all like very playful. We had a great rapport. And uh, they, they gave us, they helped in all the ways they could. They gave us tips. And when the classes got too noisy and us being students, we were also contributing to the noise, not slowing it down. And then the teachers stepped in and then they like brought things back to order because uh, we were also like helping the, we were with the students. We weren't acting very responsible or mature. So um, the teachers were very, very helpful. And then the management, they were extremely supportive. They helped us, I mean, they got us those special sheets on which to draw the, um, the flag. And then they got us, um, this they got this publicized in newspapers, the e-magazine, news channels, and all of those things. The management was very supportive. Principal sir, vice principal ma'am, everyone, and uh, the students were also, as we mentioned earlier, very enthusiastic. And the parents, the parents, I guess, I mean, I feel like they were the most important factors in this um, entire process because they did, they supported us in every way they could. They got us the materials that we needed needed to buy like the pro circle and then they made sure that all their children attended the rehearsal sessions and then that everyone constructed the flag at home and uh, yeah that was pretty much it. the amount of support we got was just overwhelming and like it's surreal okay so actually i'm curious that how long you should uh, take this uh, like you train your students to uh, make this record um, I think we trained them for like a week or so. Every day we went to their classes and we trained them for a week. So they were totally like, I, I think like 10 to 12 people who were training and two of us went for each grade. And um, yeah, we all like went in every, like we didn't go all the time, but we went for like two periods at a stretch and then finished both the grades and spent like, I don't know, like 25 minutes in each class, like mostly eating away that period. And uh, that was pretty much it. We went every day for a week and that helped a lot. And then we had online training sessions, which were different. Uh, okay. They were on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so will you be able, uh, like willing to create a few more uh, records in the coming year? Had you have both of you, like yes, Deepa, had you uh, anyone? Definitely, mom. Like we are uh, looking forward for making a lot of records in the near future, mom. And our schools also started working on the same, mom. So we are brainstorming for ideas and we just had our elections completed and the newly formed office bearers are all working nice and hard. And they're also uh, trying to bring out the innovative uh, skills and all. We are also trying to uh, help students file patent rights at this age itself so that they can be patent holders. And we've also started working on it, mom. And then we have oh. received a few ideas for records to be set as uh, the a 1983's cricket captain, uh, Sir Kapil Dev says, taste success once and tongue once more. And we are now uh, wa waiting eagerly to set a few more records and take our school's name to greater heights and get the legacy going on. Okay, so we are also eager to hear from you guys about this record and we'll again invite you for this event. Sure, it's for sure if it is happens. Yeah. I wish uh, both of you to achieve that too. So Vijay sir, uh, yes. this event was done in Zoom platform, right sir? Yes ma'am. So how was it to organize a large scale program through Zoom? 
Ma'am? You couldn't hear us? Yes, no, ma'am. Yeah. So this was done in Zoom platform, right, sir? So, yes, yes. Uh, what, like, how did you agree uh, such a large event in a Zoom platform? What was yes. the difficulties behind that? Yes, of course, ma'am. Yeah, I do agree. So it was a very quiet task, but uh, finally, uh, we uh, we have done many practice sessions where uh, uh, many uh, uh, technical glitches were happening and uh, we were encountering more problems. So how to solve them and the uh, uh, highly specialized tech team was involved in so that uh, none of the problems uh, got into trouble and it was sorted out very easily. And we had a wonderful uh, team beside because uh, so we are, they are always ready to untangle themselves to uh, bring out the any strings out of the control and uh, that's how we organize the event and at GTA VM uh, IT teams uh, with uh, full laptops uh, I think around 150 laptops were on and uh, our, uh, our Wi-Fi system was enabled and uh, all was uh, technically uh, certain, uh, student and uh, that is the real uh, thing we did and uh, on online on that day of constructing that like a music went on it was not smooth and finally uh, that also has been uh, sorted out and finally uh, at last 10 45 to 11 all their uh, abdomens are filled with butterfly strings over it and uh, finally uh, the two days where it was there for the uh, final announcement for the result and on the day of inauguration that time only they know uh, it is going to be felicitated and uh, Students are very happy and they all participated in that event. Okay, sir. So, uh, next question it is to Vijay sir itself. So, constructing a flag in a mirror is a hard enough, I think. So, regardless uh, to say, like uh, constructing it using a mathematical instruments is a little more harder. So, how did you manage or how did you uh, like uh, teach your students uh, to learn to do so? Yes, um, Buckminster Fuller says there is nothing in the uh, caterpillar that is going to be a butterfly. But uh, we uh, we teachers believe that uh, there is something in the caterpillar that has transformed into beautiful butterfly. That is none other than inner strength. With our inner strength, we really facilitate them, we mentor them, and we taught the students the method which was uh, which is uh, uh, consistent to them and which is not not odd and fastened rule. Uh, grade six students were very very energetic and ecstatic at the beginning, and uh, even uh, ninth and tenth were lagging some in few minute, few uh, areas. And we went over to different classes and we refined the techniques what we have informed. And uh, finally, we have found something new in each class. And uh, um, the idea of multiple intelligence was involved and uh, uh, each one had their unique talent, then only they know. Because uh, they told that I, I'm not good at drawing, sir. I'm not, I don't know to construct. I'm not uh, um, good at geometry like that. But finally, they performed phenomenally and caught on to this technique very easily. And uh, at least I, I think uh, teamwork and the coordination and continuous uh, training will help them out in near future. Yes, yes, sir, that's a correct thing. Uh, so, Vijay, so sorry, uh, so Harikaran and Deepa, as a student volunteers, uh, did you have any specific uh, tactics or methods to help the younger students to construct this flag easily? Because they are younger students, so, so they are so young. So, how did you manage that? Yes, ma'am, actually, as um, Sir said sixth graders were the best. They performed the best out of the lot. They were the youngest, but they, they did the best. They did better than the ninth graders. They did better than us. And uh, they taught us how to construct the flag. They gave us tips. And then as Sir said, we learned something new in each class. Like I went to first, I think I first went to 8A. And then someone there said, hey, try this. This works better. And then we tried that in 8B and then someone gave us another tip and then we went and implemented both these tips in 8C and then it was very easy. So in each class, someone will give suggestions that we will try out and if they work, we go and teach them to other classes too. So in each class, we did learn something new as Sir said and uh, we didn't have a specific technique uh, because all of us, I mean, there are many, many ways to construct the flag and there's no hard and fast correct way to construct it. So um, all of us just encourage them to do what they think is best and i think that worked uh, the best for every one of us 
Okay. So, uh, how did you feel when your event was broadcast as a news in several programs? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Hari, take that one. Okay. Uh, ma'am, so like, uh, thanks, Deepa. And basically, uh, we do not know that a lot of media channels are like coming here to broadcast this news. We do not even know that uh, the outer world even knew about our event but still sir kept this as a secret from us and eventually at uh, that evening of the record creation or the attempt for creating the record he sent us several links of the news challenge broadcasting on news but when i saw them i had goosebumps i had i was like totally out of words and this is our school making this record i was like mind blown i'm like me being such a small part of this event I can see the magnificent success of this uh, event, mom. I was like, okay, my hard effort is like not going for a waste. Like we, uh, we have worked so much and like day and night, we have spent more data, like 30, 40 GB is all gone. But still, mom, seeing that being worth enough, I was like, it's worth it. It's like the best moment of my life, mom. That's it. Okay. So Vijay, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, like the idea and inspiration behind these documentaries done by these students yes ma'am actually uh, when we are doing about it there were a wall of reflection and every day there was a reflection about it and uh who's a shining star miss uh, mangeshka lata mangeshka ma'am and uh, uh she passed away so with her nightingale voice and uh, i should uh, uh really uh, ded uh, dedicate to this uh surrender my tribute to her so and then we found that uh to celebrate 75th independence of this year 2022 and um, into uh, order to be in a special heart a place in the heart of many indians and uh, this uh, this record is intended to tribute to lata mangeshkar ma'am and uh, this all uh, this is a uh, Final surrender to her, and so because she is a performer and an artist and something. And what um, Hari said, sir, in inform about this, but because I I too don't know these many medias are going to come and it is going to be published. We too don't know Hari. And uh, finally, at the end of the day, they are they are giving it, and uh, that is giving in the link. Uh, it's really a surprise one for me. And then finally, I have uh, passed down the message to this team. And every day evening, we'll sit and we will plan. And the reflections we were taken away, and uh, what was the experience, and everything was the, done, planned uh, priorly. And the day of the event, really, uh, many of them go, go, uh, we didn't uh, even eat our breakfast and lunch on that day. After the record, only we had our lunch, and it's really amazing to uh, do such event in near future to bring more laurels to our school. Okay, sir. So, as an organizer, sir, uh, organization of this entire event certainly would have uh, been a proud moment saying all its hard work finally bears this success. Uh, when it was organized by the IPR as an official record, what are your thoughts on that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for this question, uh, ma'am. Uh, mor uh, morning when they come, uh, 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 Mr. Nair, uh, Vivek Nair, and he saw the record videos and I have projected to them. And they, he told, no, the time is not uh, constrained. And I cannot do that like that. And he saw all the videos and I have proved uh, that my children all considered it and with the shown all the documents to them. And finally, he has accepted, yes, uh, yes, the record is yours like that. And that moment was really, uh, I could not express in my words. And because all my effort, the children should not go in as an attempt, yes? So it should be a record. And uh, make, that uh, gives me an immense pleasure for that. And being a teacher and a mentor for these uh, 10 years, really uh, for being a class teacher for class 9C of GTVM is really... Uh, overwhelming experience in my life and I will uh, take this memory and uh, to throughout my life for uh, the best uh, children and children and uh, 9C is always a mixture of uh, multiple intelligence I could see each one have their unique talent so that was a mixture of how to say uh, when the ratio of proportion of uh, Alba differs then our uh, Alba will not come correctly correct but our 9C will ask that ratio and proportion fixed to it and uh, I am so lucky to get that and I have to thank my heads, uh, VPs and principal sir uh, for giving uh, math as a subject for them 
so that uh, as a foundation class also so i have to link them with more foundational topics i have to bring with more textbooks i have to link to the world and it was an online session i think so online session because of the online session it it had, uh, we had uh, many uh, extra sessions or as well and uh, finally the success really depends uh, really on team work i could say as a man as a mentor i can see that you hard work uh, like you uh, went through a lot of path to make your students into this success so uh, i i know sir i know from the first day itself i can uh, for uh, like you uh, like showing your students output to other world i know you went really hard for that i i know students actually harikan and deepa he went like to extreme i think to showcase your talent to the outer world i know he's a best teacher yes ma'am so uh, harikan and deepa what is uh, the memory from this event that will always stay with you forever this is such a great question and this this shall be the longest one of my answer mom but i don't want to take a lot of time but if you can see mom the memory is like working with the juniors mom like understanding them is like very complex and those chote is running here and that i became one of those young people mom like i went back to my 6th grade i was like how did i behave in the 6th grade i became a 6th grader while training them mom then working with deepa vijay sir and a few other mom like uh, in our main team there was dakshin uh, kriti and prasha mom they three compiled the videos the data and the songs mom they all were like working continuously whereas we three used to go uh, rotationally into the meetings and check on what's happening and it was such a complex process but we all enjoyed it in each and every step as we told then uh, i used to usually go with deepa for training young children and we know how hard it was like she will not be able to scream on top of her noise uh, voice and the teachers will step in and they'll be like hey chote be quiet and they'll all like sit and seeing them um, look at us like uh, with their eyes wide open and seeing what we do mom it uh, gives us this sort of an uh, surge of adrenaline which makes us work way harder and extend ourselves for better achievements mom and next most fully i was able to understand each and every teacher much more better mom but basically the math department were like total gods of the whole event mom and the tech team also the tech team here is not a set of small people mom it was the whole teaching community itself our school teachers are like well versed and they are like uh, having more knowledge on technology than the students of us itself so like they are parallel to us they teach us and we also teach them it's like a give and take policy mom and eventually um, playing with friends uh, during class mom uh, like training them in a more uh, fun manner that was the technique we use for ninth graders because training students who don't know you and who are younger they might have some sort of respect on you mom but training peers who know completely about you is like total mayhem it's like having monkeys in a classroom so we all knew and we all know about those monkeys in the class and we uh, control them and we became one of them also It was practical memory, a uh, memory full event. Um, and we also look forward and making more records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Vijay sir, uh, the last, lastly, I want to ask you that uh, what would be your advice to teachers and who all wish to try out such records? Yes, um, um, uh, I would uh prefer that uh, uh the mantra for success. for any success relies really on the focus and perseverance what we possess um as a teacher so rather than a teacher facilitate if we facilitate our class we can bring out young talents which is which are present we don't know who is going to be an albert einstein who is going to be an ramanujan who is going to be a doctor we don't know but at the end when i ask my kid everyone will say every day every day they will say something different today i'm going to become an artist tomorrow i'm going to become an entrepreneur i'm going to become a ceo so like that uh, i would prefer that multiple intelligence are present in our class but adopting a simple strategy will not work out and uh, adopting uh, or to a suitable strategy for each and every child will always uh, bring success from them and that is the uh, that will be an aspiration for each uh, one to create a record like this to be a part of a big event 
always teamwork and coordination and uh, receptivity and perception also made a ma major role in us and uh, i really i don't like advices actually my children also don't like it as a friend as a fellow mate i used to travel along with them and uh, being with the kid is always a fun and jolly one because i uh, my wage gets reduced along with them and my energy power, energy uh, triples uh, by their energy uh pt period pt period they will ask then like that when we be along with them it is equivalent to getting three pt periods in one day and uh, really a fun one being a teacher always thank you so much ma'am thank you sir so hanjan and deepa uh, last but not least is there anything you would like to say to your fellow students which uh, with such aspirations yes ma'am Mom, I think in my opinion, I'd say that no idea is a bad idea. If you have an idea, if you think it's going to work, just give it a shot. That there's nothing that can happen that possibly going to discourage you if you think that the idea is worth fighting for. And uh, so, if you have an idea, if you have an inspiration, go for it. Don't look back. Don't think again, and then it'll all work out. So, how are you doing? yes mom so like as deepa rightly said uh, we should all give a shot we should never get afraid for anyone we should live for our life mom this is our life we have to live for ourselves we shouldn't care about what others say and if you feel what you're doing is right and if you feel it is not going to impact anyone in a bad manner please carry on mom always think out of the box like as our um, abdul kalam says uh, all birds find shelter during a rain but the eagle avoids rain by flying above the clouds this is exactly what i say every single time mom we should be the eagle in our life we should fly above the cl clouds avoiding any sort of negativity mom we should be the hero we should uh, try to do something which will help the society mom say that our school has been doing things uh, out of the box such as they have planted uh, 200 saplings in our school's locality and those saplings have started to grow out into very huge trees mom they provide shelter and they reduce noise pollution and they make the society a bit more greener of a place we should try to innovate mom having teachers like vijay sir and every single teacher who uh, made me who i am i am thanking them mom it is like very difficult to get great teachers like uh, them and i have i am very thankful and i am blessed to have teachers like them mom but we should always make sure that we thrive to succeed to make our signature into an autograph that is the most important thing mom yes very safe to say so thank you vijay sir thank you deep and thank you hari han for sharing your time with us actually i am also grateful to share this wonderful time with you people and a, with a good team so uh, thank you all thank you for thank you again i'm saying thank you for uh, all of you and gta vidya mandir uh, chennai and also thank you all for joining us today we'll see you with we'll see you on next episode with another intellectual